Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Tuesday, July 28th. And you can see uh, pretty warm temperatures out there this morning in the mid 60s, dew points up there as well. And we got a hot, steamy day on tap today with highs around 90 again. And uh, so certainly it's going to be a warm one out there. You can take a look outside at our webcam here at Ransom Road. The truck's already lining up, which should be another pretty busy day of wheat harvest. And if we uh, look at the next slide, this is obviously where I'd rather be on the Sunrise side over on Lake Huron near Oscoda. Certainly going to be a great day to be out at the beach today, again, with lots of sunshine and temperatures pushing 90 degrees or even better. If we take a look at the weather forecast map for later uh, this afternoon, you can see low pressure across the Dakotas. We'll be heading to the northeast, and that's going to take the best dynamics with it. So another good round of showers and thunderstorms off to our west, all the way from Iowa to Minnesota. But again, the dynamics for this system is going to be moving to the northwest away from the Great Lakes. And uh, when this front comes through, that'll be our only really good chance of seeing some showers and thunderstorms. Right now, it looks like about a 20 to 40 percent uh, coverage area. And you can see, again, as that uh, low heads to the northeast, the dynamics with it go with it. And we got the cold front that'll be pushing through. I think the best chance of showers and thunderstorms are going to be across the eastern and southeastern part of the state for tomorrow. But uh, we could see some scatter storms through tonight. Now, anyone that does get a, a thunderstorm could see some very intense rainfall. Uh, but again, for the most of the area, you'll see less than a quarter of an inch, and some areas won't see any rain at all. I think we got a much better chance of getting some rain as we head towards Sunday and Monday. I think that has a, a good chance of bringing some widespread half-inch or greater amounts to the Great Lakes region. If we look at the uh, GFS forecast map here, uh, over the next uh, 48 hours, you can see much of lower Michigan with very little rainfall expected. And if we look at the uh, seven-day uh, forecast map from the WPC, you can see a little bit better shot at some rainfall again this coming over the weekend. Don't be surprised to see these amounts uh, a little bit higher as we get closer to the event. But certainly a decent chance of rain, and we'll certainly need the rain by then. Thanks for stopping by, and have a great day, and 73 is to all.